So let's begin as always by attuning to our bodies, settling into our bodies, feeling our bodies. Allow yourself to become comfortable. Feel free to reposition yourself if you'd like. Establish yourself in a comfortable posture. Maybe it's sitting or lying down or standing. In any case, allow yourself to feel comfortable. Make any adjustments that are needed for that. And enjoy that comfort. Notice it and enjoy it. It's probably small, but it is significant. So notice and feel the comfort that you find from placing your body in a comfortable posture. And from here, allow your body to relax. If you find muscular tension, tightness anywhere in your body, see if you can invite that tension to relax, to let go, to loosen. may or may not be willing to do so. See if you can invite it and allow it. If you're able to allow this relaxation, enjoy it. Again, this is a small but significant form of enjoyment in the body. Simple joy of relaxation, loosening muscular tension. So allow yourself to enjoy that. With a comfortable, relaxed posture, invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. Not a huge smile, not an enormous smile, just a small, gentle, easy smile. Bring this smile to your face. See if you can maintain it for the duration of this practice period. If at any time you notice that the smile fades from your face, you can simply invite the smile to return. By maintaining a smile on your face, the chemistry in your nervous system shifts so that you move towards happiness. And in this way, we're allowing the body to attune 
and prepare for metta practice by becoming comfortable and relaxed and inviting a gentle, easy smile to the face. This is our home base for metta practice. And we can always return here. Take a moment to enjoy this comfortable, relaxed body with a gentle, easy smile on your face. From here, begin to prepare the mind for metta practice. Bring to mind, intellectually, things in your life that you're grateful for. This could be anything, big or small, something completely ordinary in your life every day. And it could be something special or unusual that's happening to you right now in your life. Anything at all that makes you feel gratitude, makes you connect to a sense of gratitude. Reflect on that. If you're not sure what to be grateful for, you could be grateful for the air that you're breathing right now, or perhaps for the opportunity to practice metta, or to be with other people who are practicing metta. Or maybe the simple fact of having a place to sleep or food to eat, which most of us here probably do. But you can use anything that you like that feels authentic for you. It's something that you can really connect to, that you feel grateful for in your life. anything at all.
stay with these things that you're reflecting on, that you're grateful for, for another moment. If there's any response in the emotional body, if perhaps your smile widens or your heart jumps, as you consider the things that you're feeling grateful for, notice that and really enjoy it. Really soak it up. Even if it's small. Even a very slight increase in joy or love or gratitude is very significant in metta practice. So really enjoy that if that happens for you. At this point, we've prepared the body and the mind for metta practice. Bring to mind visually someone that's easy for you to love. It could be real or imaginary, a human or an animal. For myself, I like to use dogs. Many people often use babies or kittens or real people in their life that they feel a lot of love for. It doesn't really matter so much who you pick, so long as it's relatively easy for you to feel love for this person or animal. Visualize such a person in your mind. See if you can give rise to an attitude of love, care for this person that you've selected as you visualize them in your mind. An attitude of friendliness, holding the wish that they would be well and happy, filled with love and ease, or any positive intention that feels authentic to you in this connection. See if you can bring up an attitude of love towards this person that you're visualizing. You might find it helpful to use mental talk or phrases. Such as I love you or I care about you or may you be happy. That's just an option. 
in any case, have an attitude of friendliness and love for this person or animal. It's easy for you to feel loved for. Maybe you maintain that attitude with visualization, seeing them in your mind. Maybe you use mental talk to maintain this attitude, different phrases of love and care. Maybe you can even use your body, just your body to maintain this attitude perhaps with your heart center, feeling the love in your body. In any case, maintain and explore and even grow this attitude of love, this intention for care and friendliness towards this easy to love person or animal that you've selected. As always, if there's any increase or surge of positive feeling in the body, even a very slight increase, notice that and really enjoy it. Allow yourself to experience the wholesome pleasure of love. Feel that and enjoy it. In a moment, we'll transition to directing love towards a new person. But if there is any felt sense of love or care, affection in the body, see if you can stay with that, even as the object, the person that we're directing this love towards changes. See if you can maintain that in the body, if it's present for you. It may or may not be present. If not, no problem. But if it is, hold it close. Keep it precious. Maintain it and even grow it. Consider and choose a person in your life that's been some kind of benefactor, perhaps a teacher of some kind or a mentor, someone who has had a positive effect on you, helped you to grow in some way. You could use some kind of 
mentor or coach, some advisor figure in your life, a spiritual teacher, a parent, a teacher you had in school, a trusted friend, perhaps a religious figure that's had a significant impact on you. Doesn't really matter so much. So long as they've had a largely positive impact on you in your life. It might not be totally positive, but largely positive. See if you can choose such a person, a benefactor, someone that's had a largely beneficial impact on you in your life. And as soon as you've selected such a person, visualize them in your mind. Bring up an image of this person. It could be real or imaginary. It could even be multiple images. In any case, use your imagination, your visual capacity to imagine, visualize this person in your mind's eye. And again, see if you can bring up an attitude of love and care for this benefactor. Perhaps appreciation for the ways that they helped you or inspired you. Sense of gratitude that they might help you. feeling of love and connection to them. See if you can bring up that attitude as you visualize the benefactor in your mind's eye. If there is any sense of love or care or appreciation for this benefactor, this teacher or mentor, whoever it is, notice that and really enjoy it. Allow yourself to feel that love and even to grow it. If there's no felt sense of love that's present for this benefactor, that's no problem, very normal. But you might consider using mental talk or phrases to complement or even replace the images that you're using in your mind. You might use a phrase like, thank you so much for the ways that you helped me. Or I'm so grateful for your help or any phrase at all that you like. Doesn't really matter so much. In case use image or talk or both to cultivate a felt sense of love for this benefactor.
continue to maintain and cultivate, to find and grow a sense of love through this benefactor, this teacher or mentor. And if there is that felt sense in the body, enjoy it. Continue to cultivate this feeling of love for another moment. Very good. Now take a moment to look back on this practice period to remember what it was like for you, to re reflect on it intellectually. Were there any insights or shifts that you had? Any challenges or obstacles? Reflect and consider. And as you're ready, at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation. 